Tell you the four big finals will be my final races then. Three mile, five furlongs, North 160, Paul Moore's final one. Murphy's Pride at the top, John Morgan, Canty and Wim, James Shea, Sacred Memorial, Leon Van Rensburg, Marazion, Darren Thompson, Ronaldo, Matt Cooper, keep the contract, Craig Beckwith, Donna Bin, David Robertson, Hot Springs, Wins, Vinnie Gerard, Law Society, Graham Clutterbock, Sandgate, Combax, James Shea, Amanda, Pat Cooper, over to Clover, Padre Hogan, Philly Eagle, Matt Cooper and Pulsatilla, Alex Cherry, just 14 of them, over the Grand National Fences, three more, five fur on the trip, and away they go. And heading towards the first. And all safely over the first. To be honest, of the two Moore's Millions final, this one looks the more sort of open race. Most of them are in the handicap, and the top weight not that high, whereas in the next one, a similar problem to the Grand National, but a lot of them are out of the handicap. But this one, they're all in it, and they get over the next one, pretty much all of them anyway. They're over the canal turn, and Murty's Pride is setting the pace. To Ronaldo in second, and over to Clover and Philly Eagle in the Law Society as they take Valentine's all safely over that one with Hot Springs wins. Just the back marker. It's the shorter distance of the two Moore's Millions as they take the fourth. It's a five or six length lead then for Murty's Pride at the moment. As they take last ditch on that part of the track and Murty's pride leads to Philly Eagle second over the Clover third then Marazzi on and Donna Bin with Ronaldo and Pulsatilla on the leader hit that one hard got away with it though but they got away with that in the 70s that would have been a faller and it's the Philly Eagle in second Marazzi on third as they head towards the straight and the two that'll be the final two next time and Murty's Pride is in the lead. On Philly Eagle and Marazzi on. Over the Clover and Dollar Bint. Pulsatilla and Ronaldo. And keep the secret law societies on the inside. And the back five are Sandgate Combax, Amanda, Counting Wim, Sacred Memorial, and finally Hot Springs wins. But a long way to go yet. And over the seventh they go. All safely over that one or two a little slow, but over it safely enough. As they head to the fence, it'll be the last on the next circuit. All over that one, and oh, a mistake at the back there by Hot Springs wins. As they head towards the chair, any time they'll take the chair. In this one, of course, they take the beaches brought once in this as well. To the chair, over it they go. There's a faller at the back there. Amanda's gone, so Amanda is out at the chair. You don't see that many fallers at the chair in the SO world, but we'll just see one there as we get to the water where nobody will fall, of course. They never do. And now they're going to swing out left handed and head out for a complete circuit of the track. The fence that will be the first in the next race, the second of the Paws Moors finals, the longer distance one. The one that's pretty much a rerun of the Grand National usually, except the handicaps have slightly changed. But this year's Grand National winner didn't qualify, so not in it. Could make it a little bit more interesting, but it's Murty's pride in the lead. Leading by five to six. To Pulsatilla, the bottom weight in second. Then Donna Bin and Ronaldo. With Marazzi on and Philly Eagle. Hundred there, Matt Cooper still got two in it. I thought he's had a faller, but of course these are these fallers. You can run as many as you like, can't you? And looks like Matt Cooper might be the only one who's actually put in more than two as they get over the next. And Murty's pride the leader. From Pulsatilla second, Ronaldo third, then Donna Binnon over the clover. Philly Eagle on the inside as they take this third, which is a big ditch, and all safely over it. And head down to the next. Again, all over it well. Murty's Prime setting the pace, but not too strong a one. A sensible enough gallop as they come down to the one before Beecher's Brook. And Murty's Pride leads. 
Ah, there's a fall of there. Pulsatilla's dead, so Pulsatilla's gone. Let's look for Alex Cherry. There's only horse in this one, the bottom white's head. As they head down to Beaches Brook, then Murtis Pride's going to lead the field from Ronaldo in second, and then over the Clover and Donna Bint. Oof, sail over that one, okay. Law Society's now dropped to the back. Hot Springs wins is making his way slowly through the field, creeping up the inside. But it's Murtis Pride who's going to lead them over the Foynaven fence. The mistake at the back by Counting Wim. That one's now dropped to the back as they head to the canal turn. And past the point from which they started now. And Murtis Pride is the leader from Donovan in second. Then over the Clover Ronaldo and Marazzi on. And then Hot Springs wins. He's getting much closer as they told. Oh, it's a crashing fall there for over the Clover. Over the Clover's down at the canal. And now heading towards Valentine's. Murtis Pride. Donovan is close up in second. Over Valentine's they go. The rest of them are all safely over that one. Murtis Pride continuing to lead from Donovan second. Ronaldo is third. Then Hot Springs wins. Sacred Memorial is now creeping into it as well as they get over the 20th. And all safely over the 20th. With Donovan now just poking his head in front. But Murtis Pride fighting back on the inside. Murtis Pride and Donovan over that final ditch. And it's a better jump by Donovan on the outside. Murtis Pride is second. Ronaldo travelling well in third. Then Sacred Memorial and Hot Springs wins. Philly Eagle on the inside. Keep the contract. He's coming nicely around the outside. Then after that one comes Sandgate Comebacks. That's making a good move as well. But it's... Donabin who continues to lead then now as they head towards the straight in the final two. It's Donabin and Murtis Pride. Sandgate comebacks though has now burst through the challenge. Then comes Ronaldo. Sacred Memorials after that one. Canting Wim is also coming through with a good looking run. Sandgate comebacks has hit the front. Sandgate comebacks then in the lead. Then now by a couple of lengths from Stable Companion. Canting Wim who's moved through into second. Donabin and Murtis Pride treading a bit of water. Sacred Memorial is next. Ronaldo trying to get back into it. Law Society in Ratsy on coming with a run. Hot Springs wins. He's still got a bit of a double hand for on that one by the looks of things. He's going to have to get going soon as they head down towards the second last. And it's Sandgate Combacks over it in the lead as Counting Wim is now challenged for second by Sacred Memorial. Marazzi on his next. Then Law Society and Ronaldo. Donna been trying to fight back. This is the final fence. And it's Sandgate Combacks who's going to lead into it. But Sacred Memorial looks to be going better. Over it they go. Marazzi on him into third. Here comes Ronaldo now with a good looking run. But Sandgate Sandgate Comeback is in the lead. Sandgate Comeback then racing down towards the elbow with a lead of about a length from Sacred Memorial. Ronaldo getting closer but taking his time to do so. Sandgate Comeback is in the lead. Sandgate Comeback then by a length in second place. Ronaldo then Sacred Memorial. Donna Bill is next. Philly Eagles flying but too late. And it's going to be Sandgate Comeback who's going to take it. And Sandgate Comeback wins it from a fast finishing. Donna Bill and Ronaldo close for second. Then Sacred Memorial Marazzi on. And Murtis Pride ended up the last one to finish is keep the contract pulled up at the in the straight. And James Shea takes the first of the Paul Moore's finals with Sandgate comebacks. Ronaldo second for Matt Cooper. Donna Bin third for David Robertson. Sagra Memorial Leon Van Resberg fourth. And Philly Eagle for Matt Cooper was fifth. <laughs>